69 is a wife. I don't know how, but he's 69. So, 69 and Spider Jam are, are the same, right? He's alive. Brent doesn't make sense. I know he's dead. He has to be because number one kills him. Number one. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. It has to be a a James number one, I suppose, but who is number one? Do you know what makes a James a James? What makes us I wouldn't say special, but unique. In sign, uh, at least mine is really, 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 really sexy, um, really smart, really fount of useless movie trivia, um, mostly I'll sign in sign though. Slightly mad. Yes. I prefer the term consistently unhinged. Yes, yeah, consistently unhinged. That's that's a good way to describe you all. But we're all in our own special way. Slightly mad, consistently unhinged. A little bit goofy, sometimes childish. But We're, we're blessed in a way. We're all blessed with a powerful brain. More powerful than, than a lot of people have. We see things, see the world in a way that, see the multiverse in a way that nobody else does. I've never really found out why. But it's true for all of us. And 99% of the Jameses, or the ones I've found, use their power for good. Use their power to fight evil and discord and That's because we've seen it. All of us have seen evil. All of us have... have experienced evil from childhood. I've been with more giants all along. Not manifested properly, but... I've been there. I've felt everything. Felt all the evil from the very beginning. I know the pain he's been through. The monsters. The enemies he's made. The shit he's been put through. years spent in that in that fucking mouldy hole well, I really don't know how he's a sign of the years but there are the Jameses the select few 616 number one 
Captain Magnus and the evil they experienced combined drove them drove them to take revenge on the rest of the multiverse. And number one was the most powerful of all of us. After 69, after, after he did that, we had no choice. We had to seal him inside his own universe. We had to seal the multiverse, seal universe one. Sixty-nine is back. And the walls of the multiverse are breaking down.
It is Friday, it is quarter to one in the afternoon. And it's time. This thing I've been working on now for... Getting on for, what, six years now? Again, six years. It's always six years, isn't it? This book, this thing, this... Weird book which started as an idea that the streets of Liverpool were literally changing. This, this red bird. It's time to get it out. Time to show it to the world, properly. Step one, the back cover needs doing. The good thing about the publishers not wanting this is I can format it the way I want to. It means I can keep my little um, my little title things that I've made. And it also means in the second half I can fuck with the header and footer. So like in one chapter I've crossed out my name in the header. In another I've basically reversed the letters in the title. I've replaced my name with the name of the title character in a couple of chapters. I've done something shady. I've changed his last name in a couple of the chapters to the name of his um, lover. Just to sort of confuse people a bit. And I think in another one I'm going to start maybe of if I reverse the page numbers actually Amazon will get pissed off uh, I could cross the page numbers out on half the pages that would be interesting as long as the page numbers are continuous it shouldn't matter so I think I'm gonna do that yeah that sounds fun my computer really doesn't like this. It's like that old timey internet modem download speed, whatever. Ha, ah, why? Why are you doing this? Do you know how long it's going to take me to do this back cover like this? Ave Maria, Ave Maria. Oh, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's nearly done, it's nearly done. Are we done? Yay! Now it's going to take me just as long to put the proper colours in. So last night I went a bit crazy and I um, kind of started the process of publishing the whole thing. But I've come back to it this morning and I've realised the cover looks terrible. So this morning I'm doing what I can to sort of correct it to make it look better on screen. The sort of... Um, a weird line around it on the on the Amazon page so so I'm going to try and correct that I mean it's Amazon's fault for putting such shitty templates up so you don't get this problem with professional publishers <sighs> excellent day three we're out and I have started promoting just the minor stuff to begin with, just the social media. Uh, Twitter, I put a big post on there. Uh, boosted it using the other account. You know the one. The uh, fictional one. Uh, Instagram as well. Done that. Uh, Facebook never really works for me, so I don't really... Well, Facebook's a piece of shit, 
so I find the groups never really work for me on there so don't usually bother with it that much I've just got the press release to get out and then I'm going to send an email out to like a couple of newspapers a couple of magazines that might be interested that sort of thing Okay, random test, see how the framing looks, see how it looks when I look at that. Maybe you need to stand a little bit over this way perhaps. Hopefully that's okay. Or will it look like I'm looking that way instead towards the camera? Hmm, needs to be there, more or less. Or, if I move that over just a bit. slightly that way, because I'm still looking towards the camera, but still... Yeah, that should be okay. Okay, just test this to see how this looks when I'm looking at the thingy. I think this is how I did it last time, I'm not really sure, but hopefully this kind of works. Hopefully. Okay, this is test two, see how this looks. Not looking straight at the camera, but next to it. It should be okay, I think, as long as I... Let's move that along just a little. Tuck that in there. Move that up just a bit. That should be... Okay, I think, now. Boom, let's try that. One week since I started. Looks so nice, doesn't it? Ooh. That really does look a bit threatening, doesn't it? Yeah, it's fine. I think the, um... The heading and the foot... Oh, there's that piece of shit. Fuck. That's gonna have to be changed. Uh... Okay. Eee. See, it always helps to buy a copy, because then you can find problems like that, which shouldn't be there. I have to find a way to get rid of that. Otherwise, it looks really, really cool. Really good. Yeah. So, the walls of the multiverse are breaking down. Please excuse the, uh, the shit drawing of the multiverse. And because the walls of the multiverse are breaking down, that is setting through the Bandersnatch, which myself and 69 saw in 1964. Now the trouble with the walls of the multiverse breaking down and the Bandersnatch coming through, that also means Universe 1, which is currently sealed off, is also accessible. And that could mean number 1 gets free. And if number 1 gets out, we're fucked. how I said that some of the James's were more hinged than the rest. 
more insane than was one of them. Who helped you, number one? One who didn't go by the name of James. And Spider Jam. The real Spider Jam, not 69. Yes. Yes. That may work in our favour. And I think we need... What have you done? Friend, haven't you? You've been visiting number one. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't fucking shoot you. Because you're a giant and you're consistently unhinged. Plus, you'd be no better than number one if you shot me, so... You did it. You released number one. What? Shoot. What? You and that. That fucking dreamstone. Giants. Put the gun down. You, using the Dreamstone, released number one. And now we're all fucked. So go on. Give me one good reason. Put the gun down. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't blow your fucking brains out. <laughs>